Based on the results of the CLL14 trial, our current standard treatment in the German CLL study group is the combination of venetoclax obinutuzumab, which is a time-limited treatment of 12 months. Once patients relapse, uh, we have to ask ourselves the question what to do next. Um, this could either be switching to the other major first-line treatment, which is a BTK inhibitor, usually ibrutinib or acalabrutinib, or if we can redo the same and repeat venetoclax-based treatments. Um, for quite a few patients, this is more attractive because they learned that a time-limited treatment has the benefit of having a uh, treatment-free interval afterwards. So this is why a lot of patients ask if they can do the same. And this is why we went to our database and looked if we can identify patients where we did so and based on the trial patients which we have in that database uh, we identified in total 13 patients who had received uh, a venetoclax based time-limited treatment at, as first-line treatment. In the majority of patients that was uh, venetoclax combined with obinutuzumab, but uh, some of the patients already received a triple combination as first-line treatment in one of our trials. And uh, for the relapsed treatments, uh, the majority of the patients then were treated in a trial where they received a triple combination, which was usually a venetoclax, obinutuzumab plus icalabrotinib in a phase two trial. So the majority of these patients were high risk patients. Um, a lot of them had a deletion 17P and or a complex karyotype. Um, so it's not uh, very astonishing that they had a, a relapse after that treatment at some point. Um, the treatment-free interval be between the two venetoclax-based treatments was uh, 28 months in median. So patients had two years of uh, treatment-free interval between the two lines of treatment uh, in median. But some were shorter, the shortest was 15 months and some were um, somewhere uh, near five years of treatment free interval. Um, and for the first line treatment, uh, all but one patient had uh, achieved MRD negative remissions. Um, and for the relapse treatment, uh, all of the patients responded again and so far, two thirds of them have achieved an MRD negative remission. So this means that it is feasible to repeat a venetoclax based treatment and that the patients achieve a remission again. Of note, uh, I can say that uh, there was no increased toxicity uh, if we repeat, repeated the venetoclax uh, treatment.